Now to the east, where air conditioners are running nonstop, putting a strain on utilities. Terrell Brown is in New York City. Terrell? And New York, Boston, and Hartford, Scott, are all flirting with their record for power use. It's the fifth day of this heat wave, and New Yorkers are starting to lose their patience. It's miserable. Feels like I live inside a dog's mouth. Those who tried to escape had a hard time. Amtrak slow trains between Boston and Washington because the high heat might make tracks expand. New York's six million air conditioners have pushed the city's power grid to the limit. The city's main electric company is working with 700 commercial customers to cut their power use. Some are using their own power generators. John Mixit is a vice president for Con Edison. We have a number of customers who sign up for programs with us where they are actually paid to reduce demand. Jordan Barowitz is with the Durst organization. It owns 11 buildings in Manhattan. What are you doing in the building to reduce energy use? We turn off some lights, we shut down two elevators per bank, and then the biggest thing that we do that you can't see is we raise the temperature in the building a few degrees, and we also refresh the air that's coming into the building less frequently. There have been a few scattered power outages in the New York City area, and Scott, forecasters don't expect a break in the heat and humidity in the Northeast until sometime on Sunday. Terrell, thank you.